Here we go, here we go, here we go. Offensive line is not like any other position. Hey, he's mine, he's mine, he's mine. The unit that we are, if one person messes up, we all mess up. And if another person gives up a sack or lets up a pressure, I will get personally mad and like I did it myself, even though I know it might not have happened on my side. Hey, 32, 32! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let's go, Lon! I'm usually probably harder on the guys in my unit. Come on, y'all! You can ask any of them and they'll probably say, I'm the one that tells them the cold, hard truth, whether they like it or not. All he's doing is putting his head down and running. You can stop that. To tell the truth to my teammates is, it's not always easy, but they need to hear it. It's gonna make us a better offensive line because of it. Don't grab him, Lons. Keep running, keep running. He's a real team guy, and uh, he understands that the unit leadership is very important. Watch here, I got him. It starts with himself. He's got a lot of pride in his performance and, and what he puts on film and how he prepares. Good, way to go, Brett! Good job, Brett! Good job, Brett! He's a very humble kid. Sometimes he's loud, sometimes he's quiet. He's kind of a gentle giant. He really has fun, he embraces the hard work. And I uh, can't say enough good things about him. He's really, he, he comes to work with the energy and the passion that we want all of our players to have. I usually start off carbs before practice. Mashed potatoes are a good bet when you're up here. Always good, probably two scoops of that. In high school, my heaviest weight was 405. Uh, I was a big kid. If I didn't change up my lifestyle choices, then I was gonna die at an early age, and I got real scared at that. They do a real good job of uh, having uh, you no know, drumsticks, stuff like that, nothing fried, nothing crazy. I'll grab two of these. I grew up in Long Beach, New York. The area that I lived in, there was not a lot of healthy spots for me to eat. My mom wasn't really too concerned about eating healthy. She was just concerned about us eating. I weighed in at 375 my freshman year playing at Rutgers. When we first got here, um, we did some conditioning testing and uh, Tariq was this huge mammoth man. He was overweight, he was out of shape and uh, we had to get him right. Half a thing of salad. So salad's gonna be half my plate. I think the lowest he's gotten down to is about 310 pounds maybe. And it's just through a lot of hard work and dedication. He's changed his eating habits, he eats right, he works out, he gets extra conditioning in. And it's really important to him and it's been fun to watch. It's been a real inspiration for other players to take care of themselves and, and eat right and, and live right and, and uh, hopefully see the same improvements in themselves that they've seen in uh, Tariq. The younger guys that don't know what they eat probably should look at my plate or what I, where I'm eating and try and show what is a good plate for them. My mom told me I look like a different person. She, uh, she actually saw me on the street one day, passed me by, I was like, wait, no, 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 wait. My baby, that's you. Is this a well? The fine plate. That is a great plate. Now I have too many, too many, too much fruit, like she always says. We'll save half of that for after practice. Uh, I can really see the change in my energy and my play as a football player. It got uh, tremendously better.